Hi, I'm fitting a kitchen and uh, thinking about the regulations surrounding safety uh, in the kitchen. I thought I'll go over them here and post the video. So there are a few things to consider here. Um, first of all, um, think about the sink. There is a requirement of 60 centimeter distance between the sink and the hob. And then another thing is the clearance above the hob. Uh, there's a 76 centimeter clearance required above the hob. And also a hob and oven when you're installing them, make sure that there are no doors that swing open against them. Uh, um, the, also there should be, have, the hob should have some clearance uh, on the worktop. Um, um, so, especially if you're installing tall units on either sides, there needs to be a 20 centimeter clearance on either side of the hob. Um, it should another 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 issue to consider about the hob is it shouldn't be close to um, a window because the draft will extinguish the flames. Um, and that could be dangerous. Uh, there is a minimum distance of 120 centimeter between any two rows of cupboards that face one another. Um, so it, it, the, the aim of this is that, uh, that there is a galley and there is enough clear way that allows drawers to open and access to appliances. Um, also, um, when it comes to worktops, um, there is a requirement um, of one meter uh, minimum length. Um, I mean, this this again is um, is it, it's recommended. Um, so, and also when you are installing worktops, uh, every every sixty centimeter needs to be supported by a vertical strat so um, uh, and this is especially important if you have appliances underneath it. Um, other, other issues that are important to take into consideration uh, are the electricals. Um, now um, it's uh, for instance, was talking about the washing machine and dishwasher, uh, there is a requirement to have um, um, a, a, a switch installed above the counter, a fuse switch installed above the counter for um, the washing machine and dishwasher in case of emergency so uh, the circuit can be turned off. Um, also um, always install dishwasher on a single socket uh, uh, because a double socket has a total load of 13 amps and it's not advisable to plug um, a second appliance such as a fridge or a dishwasher to the same socket. Um, there's a port P requirement uh, that requires the fitting of a fused unit for the dishwasher using the same method. Um, and then another thing to take into consideration is the circulation. Um, now, damp and condensation is always a problem, uh, the, uh, and there should be an extractor in the kitchen. Uh, it, uh, if it's fitted directly above the cooker, then it should have an extract rate of 30 liters per second. Uh, if you can't fit it for some reason above the cooker, then and it's somewhere else in the kitchen, then it should have an extraction rate of 60 liters per second. Um, now, most, the, 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 the hood uh, uses, most hoods are either ducted, taking the air circulation outside, or uses charcoal to reduce the smell. Now, in my opinion, 
the a recirculating coca hood is absolutely useless because it does nothing in terms of providing ventilation. A good solution will be to have the air ducted and taken outside by installing uh, a, um, a tunnel that goes through the roof to the outside. Now, other things to consider here or um, we're t still talking about these regulation is uh, you know the m more major issues that n needs building regulation. So, for instance, if there is you put a new circuit, then that need to be notified. If you put if you're fitting a, a certain types of spars, then that needs also that's a notifiable so either to local authority or to a registered uh, electrician um, um if there is no kitchen in the in the premises and you're installing one that is that also needs building regulation approval um so th these are the things that needs to be considered um when fitting a new kitchen